Good morning and welcome Raider Nation to another episode of the Raider Cast, your podcast for everything silver and black. And today this is just a news video. Uh, I'm going to be going over the fact that Micah Kaiser and Kyle Fackerl are now on the IR. I talked a little bit about both on the pre-show on Sunday. Uh, and now we've signed a linebacker to possibly replace Kaiser or at least have some depth to that position. And Curtis Bolton. So I want to start off by talking about Curtis Bolton, actually, because he sent out this awesome tweet. Um, it's right here. No, oh, right, <laughs> right here. Um, he just, he's basically saying that he signed with his childhood team, which is just so awesome to see. It's very easy to root for him now. Um, anytime a player is like, oh, I get to play with the Raiders, you know, I love the Raiders. They're my favorite team. And that's a child, stuff like that. And seeing players be able to play with any team that's their childhood team is awesome. We already have Devontae Adams on our team. He's been a fan for his whole life. And now we have Curtis Bolton, who said this exact same thing. I've been a, uh, a fan my whole life. And it's just now I want him to stay on the team just because of that. Um, it's really good to see. It's really nice to see. Um, but looking at his stats, he didn't play, he hasn't played that much. He's been mostly just a practice squad or just a uh, special teams guy. <laughs> he was first signed by the Green Bay Packers in 2019 as an undrafted free agent, um, but then was put on IR. Um, so he was done for 2019 and 2020. It looked like he played, he was on the Colts and 49ers practice squad before en ending up on the Lions. He played in five games. Uh, for the Lions in 2021, mostly on special teams and recorded two tackles. Um, so if anything, he'll mostly just be a special teams guy if he's ever called up. I think he'll probably stay on the low end of the depth chart, but it's good to have some nice depth there. And then moving on to even more part of the linebacker core with Micah Kaiser gone, it's definitely our main trio is still there. Perryman, we still have Jayon Brown, and we still have D Divine Diablo. The fourth guy was people were like Kenny Young. Kenny Young is still an option. Um, Micah Kaiser was supposed to be like the fourth or fifth option at linebacker. He was nothing more than depth, so it's not entirely like, I mean, it's tragic. I hate seeing players get injured, especially IR. But as for the team and the players, um, it's not a huge blow in terms of like he wasn't supposed to be a starter. Um, so we can still see Kenny Young take that fourth spot. We can see Darian Butler possibly take that fourth spot, who's been rising in camp, which I'm rooting for. I hope he gets that fourth linebacker position. Uh, now we have Curtis Bolton, and we have uh, Luke Master Masterdon, Masterdom, um, who was a non-draft free agent this year. So we have plenty of linebackers. People are worried, oh, linebacker depth is bad. It's actually really good. <laughs> um we have a great depth at linebacker uh, beyond our first three, and our first three is really good. So linebacker is honestly fine um, for right now. Um, sucks to see him go down because he is a very solid linebacker for a bunch of uh, quite a few teams, especially the Rams, um, the past few seasons. And then we have um, Luke, uh, Kyle Fackrell also going on IR. Uh, not great for our depth. Um, at the edge position, uh, looking like it's going to be possibly Jerry Green or Gary Green. I'm not sure how to say his name. Uh, it looks like Green is going to be possibly taking over that spot. Um, who knows? Uh, Koontz and Furl are supposed to be that backup. I think I, for me, they've always been the backup to Crosby and Jones. Fackrell was like that third guy for rundowns. Um, but it could be Jerry Green. We have Deshaun Bauer on the roster. Um, people are saying we should probably get some more edge depth, which I wouldn't be, uh, uh, opposed to as long as they're like a cheap, you know, veteran presence. I wouldn't mind bringing NASA back. Um, one of my friends on Twitter was saying that they want to get, um, oh, who was it? Oh, he wants to get Trey Flowers. D Ford is still available. I mean, we, there's a lot of options at edge that are older veterans that could, that are cheap. So I'm not worried about edge. Um. I mostly want to sign defensive tackle and O-line right now, but that's we don't really have that right now. Um, so that's really it for this news uh, episode. Uh, I just wanted to talk about Curtis Bolton and how his his childhood team was a uh, Raiders, and I want to talk about the linebacker depth, and I think that we're fine. Um, I also wanted to talk about Kyle Fracco going down and what that could mean, and if people wanted to or if we should get edge. Um more edge depth uh actually let me know down in the comments do you think we should get more edge depth or should we just stick with what we have and see what they can do um 
but thank you for tuning in uh retro bowl is coming out later today uh that's gonna be a live stream so come in chat uh, i'd love to talk to you guys uh thank you for so much for this uh support on of course my video it's over 600 views now and it's close to 700 which is awesome at 51 subscribers uh thank you guys so much um love you guys and i will see you guys in the next episode of today later today <laughs> uh peace out raider nation